All right, we've got Coach Marilyn Beretta coming up right now on the Rise Top Podcast. We're going to be talking about everything. We're going to be talking about accelerating your online business results. We're going to be talking about mindset. We're going to be talking in really cool accents that are not mine coming up right now on the Rise Top Podcast. And welcome, 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 my friends, to the Rise Top Podcast. It's your great and good friend, David Seitman Garland, a.k.a. DSG, and we're going to take a trip right now all the way to the other side of the world with Coach Marilyn Beretta. Hello, Coach Marilyn. How are you? I'm good, and I'm also in the future. You're in the future. We always talk about this where whatever day I'm at, Marilyn's already lived that day. She's already one That's step ahead right. because tell us where you are coming from. I'm I, Well, I'm in Sydney right now. And, and actually, I didn't know about this. Where were you actually born originally? I I am Australian, but I have spent a lot of my adult life in England or London. So, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. So, just to give some context for folks that are listening in is that, you know, you are a successful Create Awesome Online Courses student and now a course coach in our accelerator program. And you've been working with our accelerator students for now at the time of recording about the of, of this podcast, I think about 80ish days, somewhere around a little bit less than 80 days. And just to give a little bit of context before, because we actually had Coach Tomiko, who we all know very well, on last week. And we had had Tomiko on earlier this year as well, kind of sharing a little bit about her background. But I'd be interested, as we kick it off today, share a little bit about your background, Marilyn, because when it comes to coaching, I mean, this is really your jam, and this is something that you've been doing for many, many years. So maybe just share a little bit about your background with everyone. Yes, well, I... I have an interesting background, worked in seven countries actually, and I've always been gravitated, always gravitated towards facilitation and group coaching. And I, well, I actually started out as an architect, would you believe? So I have a very creative background. But what I loved was the whole people development and training and development. I think as a kid, I really wanted to be a teacher. So I, I loved seeing people develop and and. Initially, it was through technical, through teaching photography, teaching management, teaching even sales. And that took me to England, where I was a training and develop, international training and development manager. I also worked with a very boutique change management company that was doing some really exciting things, facilitating blue chip organizations through change and uh, in meeting facilitation in in in. in well, in the UK and in, in Scotland, actually. And and then I worked, started working with small business owners, coming alongside them and helping them with their with their people structure, their, their branding, but how those two things meld together. So having the right people on board, having the right branding, the right messaging, and really just coming along and being that cheerleader for the owners. And so it became a little bit of a niche for me to work with the owners. In And I was always surprised that these CEOs or these you know business owners, entrepreneur, usually always entrepreneurial, they had achieved great things, but they still – they're a little bit lonely in their role and they needed that someone to come alongside them. And coaching was still, it was not quite so big back then. And now I just found I come al- came alongside them and I guess I call myself the cheerleader, which was really just coaching. And, and then it developed into, uh, you know, I moved back home to Australia and I loved working internationally. And I actually worked for English companies whilst I was still living in Sydney, whilst I was developing my own online brand. And I started to develop, uh, I started to see this sort of gap in the industry that there was a lot of training out there, a lot of short courses, but people would fall through the gaps in the between those courses and that they needed a little bit more support, a little bit direct. Did you know that like 90, 90% of businesses fail in the first five years? And it's usually due to lack of experience in direction. And I take that a little bit lower and it's often towards to do with mindset, working on their own, and lack of accountability. So when when you you announced that you were doing a an accelerator coaching program, I'd already fallen in love with the the Create Awesome Online course, 
as a course and as a technical training and development manager, well, not a technical, but a, an experienced international manager doing that, it ticked all the right boxes and it had the fun element as well. So I was really on board when this happened and because I'd been running group coaching, uh, look, pods similar to Accelera of my own, and I still am, for years, and I know they work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting, Marilyn. I'm going to brag on you here for a second, okay? I'm going to brag on you. I'm going to brag on you good on this one, okay? Is that what's really interesting is that for those that don't know, and you probably, if you've followed me for a while, you, you might have seen this as well, but way early this year, when we knew we were going to, and actually kind of towards the end of last year, actually, we knew we were coming out with this new accelerator program, right? And we knew we were coming out with something that was the first time that we were ever going to do it. And we spent a lot of money on it. We invested in a consultant that knew exactly what to do and how to set up these programs. We got our methodology. We completely redid Create Awesome Online Courses, like all these things that we're going to do. And we were going to offer our very first coaching program, which is personalized help to launch your course in 90 days or less, right? Now, what do we do? Well, we had to hire coaches, right? That was one of our big things. And the interesting thing about a coach is that you really need for this program, you need to have a trifecta. You need to have a trifecta. You need to, number one, you need to know, create awesome online courses inside and out and be able that you already implemented it, right? That's number one. Number two is that you obviously have to have a desire to want to help people get results you know, outside your other business, right? You want to help people get results with online courses and online business. And then number three was in the right environment, which is what we call group coaching, but you have your own coach assigned to you and you have a pod of up to six people that you're going to be working with as well. That's how this works. And what was interesting, Marilyn, this is why I'm going to brag on you on this, is that, you know, you were, your name's not really come up until the application. Right? Like I'd heard your name. I knew you were a customer. I'd seen you maybe a little bit, but our other coaches, Tamiko and Bree, I knew them and I knew their business well. Right. And we got a ton of coaching applications, a ton. Right. And we did a ton of interviews. And I got to tell you, you were the biggest surprise because we're like, we don't know where the heck Maryland came from, but we want more of that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I remember when I got off the call with Lindsay, I'm like, you know, one of the biggest things when you're, and this is for anyone else that's, that's doing coaching and something like that as well, not only do you want a coach that's knowledgeable and personable, and by the way, not only cheerleads for you, like Marilyn mentioned, but is also willing to tell you when you're messing up, right? Also very important. But also someone, you mentioned the fun aspect as well, someone that you enjoy interacting with. I know that sounds like a real obvious thing, but you'd be surprised. Some people, it's, it's, they're wonderful people. They're very nice people, but you wouldn't necessarily want to be like on the phone with them all the time or something like that. Right. Totally. Totally. I mean, I've known coaches there. They're so oh, wet blankets. Like they'll give you everything technically, but you get off. You want to end your call with them or your touch point with them feeling better than when you came into it. And a good coach can not only impart their experience, their direction, their, their skills, but their energy. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a, that, that's a, that's a tremendous point that you're making about energy. Exactly. And like, you never know someone's having a bad day. Your coach picks them up, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And I, I, I've seen that before because I've been coached in, in different things as well. And especially in, yeah, yes, in business, but also in, you know, personal life, different things, things with kids, things in fitness. I'm a big coaching person, obviously. <laughs> and it's interesting that people that, I worked with that maybe I didn't mesh with over time, right? A lot of times it was a personality thing. It wasn't knowledge. It wasn't knowledge. They, they knew everything. They could be an encyclopedia, but I remember one time, I'm not going to, I don't want to say too many things here that are going to like incriminate someone. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. But I'm saying that one time someone's just like, I don't know if I'm really into coaching much anymore. This was on a coaching call with me. And I'm like, man, even if you were thinking that, you know, like you, you have to bring the energy and then people can build that, you know, like you said, people feed off of your energy. If you're going in to see a personal trainer and the personal trainer's moping and head down and welcome to the gym, I guess we'll work out. You're going to be like, what the hell is this? You know? And it's the same thing. You want a coach that brings the energy. Again, you can feed off of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I believe that. And, and it's where, it's how I've shaped my business. So, 
Yeah, I think I realized my superpower is coaching. You know, I went into Create Awesome Online because I've been doing courses for years and I love to stand up in front of people and motivate and cheer them, but with a, a, a you know, educate them in a course setting. But it's with coaching, you get to do that almost live. It's like the live experience of of, of training or, or, or taking people on a journey live, but you're doing it online. I, I, I just... So believe in it. Yeah, and it's interesting. Now let's talk about that actual model because uh, I'm curious about this to to hear your opinion on this because really, let's just say someone wants to learn how to do something and implement it, right? Let's just say that, whatever that is, okay? In this case, we're talking about online courses, but it could be anything, anything in the world, right? There's, in my opinion, three ways of learning something really well. And I'm talking about actually getting results and all that kind of stuff. I'm not talking about Googling randomly. That's not one of them, right? YouTubing randomly. That's not one of them either, okay? What the three are, are you purchase a course and you implement it, right? You purchase a what we'll call a group coaching program on steroids and you implement that, right? And then number three would be the super duper high end. It would be like the one-on-one private coaching. Right. Those are the three ways. I mean, like you could argue other things in this, but I'm telling you right now, and you, I mean, no one's going to make that argument that those, if you actually want to learn and do and complete and get results, those are the three. Okay. Now, everyone though is a different personality. There's different personalities out there. There's different people. Some people resonate with one more than the other. Right. Some people are like, I'm a total course person. You know, I've had lots of people we go to and I said, listen, if I wanted to teach you how to fish <laughs> and you want to learn how to fish, what would you want to do? One of these three. And they might say, I want to do a course because I like to do a self-study. I'm super motivated. I, I like my own thing. I do it on my own and I get results, right? A lot of people saying, you know what? I need some help and I want to be around other people and, and this and that. It's better for me to do a group. And some people are like, you know what? Screw everybody. I want to go super high end. I want, I want one-on-one, only the attention of the instructor. That's what I want. And I'm curious, Marilyn, on your opinion, because I know you love group coaching, right? What do you like about that specifically? Group coaching, for a number of reasons, I... Uh, I think the – let's go back a bit. I think the percentage of people who actually want to go it alone, the percentage that are success, successful is very small because, yes, it depends on your personal motivation. It depends on your personality. It depends on what's driving you. And I would say the, the technical things – People think that's the issue, but it's not. It's that mindset and those fears. So that's where group coaching comes in because you can see it black and white and you have that support to do things that you normally wouldn't be brave enough to do. And you, and you've, especially group coaching that has a deadline, that has a a finite period. So with Accelerator, we're working for 90 days. 90 days, you can change your life in that period. And so when you have that accountability and you have those other faces in front of you and you have to turn up to a call every week knowing you've got to make progress, it's not like school, but it kind of is, you know, that feeling of you've got got an assignment due and you've got homework, so you've got to do it and you don't want to turn up you know, and and be embarrassed and not doing it. There is something that drives that. And what I love about group coaching too is you've got that mastermind effect, which isn't the sort of, you know, it wouldn't be on the list of, uh, you know, sales points that we would promote, but it happens naturally where the students, they almost form a bit of a team, students, clients, customers, whatever you call them, great people helping each other and the encouragement that they give each other. And we, we use Slack, uh, which is, you know, uh, the communication forum we use behind the scenes. We're not doing calls. I am mostly proud, not only of their progress, but the support that they give each other. Oh my goodness. That's a true, that's a great point, Marilyn, not to, not to cut you off there, but because here's why. Here's why it's very important because some people will post sometimes, and this is great awesome online courses. Students sometimes post this, non-people do it. It's all kinds of stuff. They'll post something like this. Like, I want to create an accountability group with a couple other people and maybe we can get our courses done and out there or move our business, right? And my response to them is, this is interesting. It's like, I like where your head's at, right? I like where your head's at. Like, that's a great idea. But what we end up when we just create our own little groups and we go off and we do those things without the right environment like Accelerator, it ends up with a blind leading the blind situation. Oh, totally. You end up and with someone all, well, that, yeah. right, you end yep. up with a bunch of people that, quite honestly, don't know what they're doing, helping each other, 
not know what they're doing. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And that's I've the been difference. In that group. That's uh, yeah, the difference. I've been involved in a sorry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I've been involved in a similar thing at the moment, a mastermind, and it was just the blind leading the blind. And I'm like, right, I'm just going to step in and facilitate if this is okay. It needs a group coaching program needs a strong facilitator. So that and that's and that's a and that's a skill that is added to a coach. So you can be a great coach, but you need to be able to facilitate groups. And when you can, that can happen. Oh my gosh, magic absolutely just takes place. And I'm seeing that and it's, it's, it fuels me as well. Now to go back to your original question, the one-to-one is also a coaching style. It's, it's a thing, but I, after working now for years in this arena, I find that one-to-one coaching, people might do it because they think, oh, I just don't want to be bothered with other people or I'll make more progress. I have seen time and time off again, people make more progress when they're in a small group than when they're on their own. And that is the power, they miss out on the power of just that synergy of the group, the mastermind effect where they help each other. And you also get to see other people coached. And so you see other problems being dealt with that you've got in the back of your mind or that you haven't even anticipated yet. And that can give you big breakthroughs. So look, I'm I I when you were advertising for coaches. I already love the program. Uh, you know, I've got my own workload that's already busy, but there was something about this that I thought I love. And what I also love about this is that it has a very definite success path. So in other words, you know, from A to B, we all know where we're going. And rather than, you know, I, I do run coaching groups where everyone's at different levels and they're all got their different goals. But what's even, this is like on steroids, this group, because they're all, their goal is to launch their course in that period and to grow their, you know, start their audience. Right. And we, and we also have a variety of people, which is also interesting too. And we have the new round of Accelerator by the time this podcast goes up, actually. So this podcast will actually go live, which is very interesting on May 28th, right? May 28th, 2019 is when this podcast is being broadcast. And what's interesting is that's when our second group of accelerators are now starting our second round. Also my wife's birthday. Very, very important. Shout out to her. Uh, shout out to Marcy. But also, like like I said, you know, you see people coming into this program, Marilyn, and I'm sure you've seen this in your group, right? Where, and by the way, when we say group, not only do you have a group of up to six, but you're also getting one-on-one access. So you get your questions answered, things like that too. It's like a hybrid, right? But is people starting at different places? You see people that come in that you know, and especially in this next group too, we have a mix where it's people like, listen, I need to build an audience. I need to build an audience. I need to get clear on my offer. I need to get clear on my topic. Like you, some people start there, right? And I would say that would be zero. You're starting, you're starting at like zero, which is totally fine. And we've had great success with zero as well. As long as you have like realistic expectations about where you're going, right? Then you also have people that come in as well. And we see this a lot in the next round too, where they do have a following. They do have an audience. They do have a brand. And now they're just going to be throwing fire on it and fuel by now learning how to do a course quickly and launch it within this 90 day period. And it's just cool to see the progress. And I was just curious, Marilyn, within your pod, I and mean, we know about this, but just maybe you could share it with the, with the audience here is like, you know, you've seen some amazing progress. What is, what's it been like to coach these folks? And what's been some things that you've seen? Well, I was, they're all they're all professionals they're all experts they're all passionate about what they do and that's what i love about the culture of this this thing we're creating is that it gener- it, it tends to attract people who they're either purpose driven or passion driven or they've got something that's really important to do out in the world and that's what um, honestly uh, the people in my pod i'm in awe of what they've done in life and what their dreams are but a lot of them just hadn't they'd had the course for a while but they hadn't made progress and some of them too this is still a side gig for them well it is a st- side gig they've still got really busy professional roles so to have someone walk through them through with it, like the progress they've made. Every single one of them, oh, probably bar one, had a small audience in a Facebook group, but the rest of them had zero. I mean, they came audience. in with, yeah, I mean, we're talking about a blank sheet of paper and just a passion that they want to teach people and they want to learn how to do this right, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Now, all of them have a- an audience. 
Some of them well over a thousand. Some uh, some are smaller. I've got one um, who's got a very 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 niche audience who works with cancer doctors so it's very but he's like delighted that he could achieve what he's got but I think also they've overcome tech hurdles that is a big I am always surprised that in intelligent creative capable people out there in the world they can get stumbled by tech and I put my hand up there too because I can remember when I first started online even though having decades of offline experience when it came to the tech stuff it it just I can remember being in tears sometimes and I know that feeling it can be a really big hurdle and I'm seeing them jumping those hurdles and that would not have happened had they been not in an accelerator they would be I, I know what's happened because I see it happen in the Facebook in the normal in our create awesome line online courses Facebook group is that people hit those hurdles and then they just put it aside and then another six months goes by, another 12 months go by and they don't actually get through that. And I think one of the biggest – so we've seen like kick lots of goals in terms of tangible, you know, built lists, launched courses, you know. Very clear, o- very clear offers. That's another key thing too is like how do you package it up and have the right offer and we've got very clear – everybody does. Yeah. But the intangible benefits that I – look, if I could go through this microphone into the ears of people and to get is that it deals with things like the mindset. You know, when you hit those obstacles, are you feeling a little bit low? When you've done your first launch and you've only sold one or two or three places and you expected to get 50, when you haven't got an audience, that is – a little bit unrealistic. Let's, you know, yeah, out, out there in the online world, you all think you're going to make a million dollars in your first or your six figures and seven figures. But when you start out, if you haven't got an audience, it takes time. And that's a good thing because you're still exploring. And most people, if they're not in there, and I saw this, it's like a nest. So they are launching in a safe nest and, and, and they will leave this program with their head exactly in the right spot, not thinking that they've failed, but think that, wow, look how far I've gone. I've just, this is a practice. Now let's really, you know, let's go into that area. It also helps with intangible things like, clarity. Oh gosh, so many people just struggle over that. They're not sure what, and especially happens with people, experts who are multi-passionate, who have lots of skills. They just don't, well, where am I going to take right, this? They're, wor- they're worried to- about trying to combine them or do they pick a lane or whatever it might be. And we, and we all know that multi-passionate, while it's a term that's thrown out a lot and it's, and it's a good term because a lot of people are like that. At the end of the day, if you want to create something successful, you're going to have to niche it and narrow it down to something specific, right? Yeah. But it's often the indecision. It's it, the clar- lack of clarity comes from just, they're just afraid to make a decision and afraid to fail. So if you, in a group coaching setting, we, <laughs> I'm going to say force them, that sounds awful, but it's not, but we help them get real clarity and go for it. And honestly, the only way you're going to get that clarity is to jump in, have a go, build your course, launch it. And then you go, oh, okay. Is this really, you know, that's how you get clarity, not by sorting it out first. Right. And then you have a brand. Like once you have a little bit of an audience built, the right audience, right? Yeah. And you've got a plan for your offer, your course, all these things, and you actually implement that plan. And you're like, here's how we're doing it. Here's how we're delivering it. We're going to launch it. We're going to follow the steps. We all And all this happens within the accelerator program, right? And then also you end up with very clear who your people are. You have a communication strategy with those people. Like a lot of people come in, they don't have a strategy at all on that. They say, well, I get a couple of people in my audience. Now what do I do, right? You want to have a communication strategy with that. But once you have those things in place, you've essentially taught someone to fish, right? That's the whole goal. And then when you're out of this program, then you can then build from there. And it's like a 90 day, it's kind of like a wind sprint meets a marathon, right? As you're able to accomplish. I mean, it's incredible to watch people go from zero, I mean, zero to thousand plus people on their email list, offers done, launches underway. I mean, it's really incredible if you start to look back at it. Yes. Oh, look, it, incredible. You know, I was perusing through the Slack channel at how everyone was at the beginning and I took notes when we I met them all and everyone's new and I'm like, oh my gosh, everyone has made such tangible and intangible progress and most of all their confidence. And I think that is priceless. 
you know, building, giving people that courage, that confidence and giving them, I mean, that's what empower means, isn't it? It's really just giving people permission to go for it. And it's so rewarding as a coach. Well, I appreciate you mentioning these and this is why you're such a good coach is that, you know, I think because the, I'm like a business owner and I'm like looking at this from like a hard line perspective, do you know what I mean? Like I'm always about like tangibles. We're going to write down our tangibles. I've got a whiteboard to my left. I'm writing down my tangibles. But it's good to hear about – it's really shifting my perspective too about the intangibles, like the things like – Confidence, knowing how to get help now, knowing, you know, how to deal with bad days, knowing how to deal with, you know, and it's not therapy. It's not therapy, but it's, it's very, it's focused work and being able to overcome obstacles, both personally and professionally with that focused work, you know, and that's, and that's, that's what it is, you know. Look, in my work over the years, I've focused on probably three areas. There's brand strategy, which I love. I love helping people get clear on their brand. The business sort of you know, side, whether it's from admin to sort of systems to, you know, the, the, the skills of actually running an online business and an offline business. So that, which is probably my least favorite. But the, the third area is the self-leadership skills or personal effectiveness. And I find they're unique for business owners and entrepreneurs. And, you know, you can read a rah-rah, you know, or motivational book or something like that. But when it comes down to running your own business, there is certain internal skills that I think that that's where they fail. Okay. You can learn branding, you can learn business skills, you can learn how to film your own, you know, edit and build your own course and grow a list and do a Facebook ad and all those tangible things. But it's those internal productivity and mindset and those sorts of things that people come unstuck no matter where or what level or how experienced they are. And that's the joy of coaching for me, seeing all those three areas come to light, you know, come to fruition and, and, seeing the smile on their faces, as corny as that sounds. I, I'm the, my group now is at a stage where, you know, you you flick. We do it through Zoom calls. You flick it on, and there's all the smiles. Yeah, I was gonna faces. say, I was gonna, I would explain that to you. People were thinking, how the heck did you see those smiles? And I was about to say, like, you know, yeah, people get on videos on the chats, and and they're they you're able to literally see people from across the world. And you know, it's it's interesting, Marilyn, about this too, because you know, accountability we mentioned. We always throw that word around. It's been thrown around, obviously, here too. It's something that we mention a lot. And when you're a aspiring business owner, when you're a business owner, when you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is, and I don't care if you're working on a day job or you're full time or you're half time, whatever it might be, that you know, in a lot of cases in this online world, it's you and the computer, and it can be a lonely business, my friend, and and it really can be. And and there's you know, it's interesting that a big thing that I'm seeing is that just knowing that you need to show up consistently ends up pushing people over the edge towards success, right? Because there's so many people, and I get it, I understand, people will start and stop. People will say, oh, I worked on my, on my course for a little while, then I got distracted, then shiny red ball, I'm gone, right? Squirrel, right? You know, this, that, whatever. Or, you know, it might just be because you moved on to something else. It might be that, you know, something happened personally or, or professionally or, or you're just a person that, you know, switches around from things, whatever it is. But when you're in that focused environment and you're accountable, you know, you become accountable to you, your group, you know, your coach, your group, and also yourself, right? And no one wants to get on a call and by the way, of course, everyone's got challenges and issues. That's what calls are for, right? And also being able to be in Slack and ask questions and things like that, right? But, you know, you don't, I've always said this before, you don't want to show up to a call and be like, you know what I've done since last week? Nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to do that. Like, like you have to go there and yeah, there might be some weeks that are off weeks and things like that, but you are becoming accountable by actually having to go up to things. And, and it's, it's very different in the online world because, you know, where it's a, it could be a very lonely world. It really can be. You know, and the other and the other aspect of that loneliness too is a lot of you know. So they're all professionals in their field, and they're now trying to build a business with through that experience and that that expertise that they've got. A lot of the people in their world, in their existing world, don't get that. And we've had discussions in it in my pod about that. You know, have you shared with your family and your friends? And they're like, no, because they don't get us, and that can happen. It's very lonely, and it's like. 
there's lots of general training out and support for that, but not for owners. You know, they're making their mark on their, work, on their world. They're stepping up. And not a lot of people understand that. And so to have a group of like-minded people who are all bravely stepping out and saying, hey, I'm making my mark here. I'm building an online business with my expertise. You need like, you need people that you need people around you that are going to get that. You know, I, I know with my dad, love him, but he, he still says, you know, do you think you should just get a job? You know, and like it, like he just doesn't get the whole entrepreneurial thing. <laughs> yeah, and so you're you're around like minded people that are that are ambitious and they're ready to go and they're and they're trying to figure it out along with you are. I mean, it becomes you know a a just a, a more fun journey and it's just great to see people you know i mean and also at the end of the day let's i mean full credit to accelerator students that are wrapping up the, their program now and we've got new folks starting and by the way we're going to have more sessions starting you know you're, what you're going to want to do if you're interested in this go to createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash accelerator and if we're currently doing enrollments in Accelerator, you'll see an application to fill out and then you'll go on and hop on a call with an enrollment coach to see if it's a fit. That's the entire purpose of the call. Let's make sure that we find out about you and your business and your situation and let's see if it's a fit for both of us. And if so, great, there'll be a spot. We can get a spot for you. And if it's not, there'll be a wait list up right now and you can go just enter your name and, and your email and we'll let you know when we do our next pods as we call them, right? But what I'm very proud of, Marilyn, too, is at the end of the day, we can create the right environment. We can create the right accountability. We can have the right coach. We can have the right people. We can have the right training. Because as you know, in the first round of accelerators, it was all Create Awesome Online Courses students. Some have just joined the program. Some have been in the program for five years. Now Accelerator is open up to everyone. So you can join Accelerator. You also get Create Awesome Online Courses training with it as well. When your enrollment coach will talk to you about that and how that all works. But the thing is what I'm so impressed by is just people putting in the work and I love it, right? Because people are not coming in and expect, you know, at the end of the day, you're responsible for you and your success and you're showing up and your ability to do the work. We can guide everything. We can help everything. We can give you blueprints and we can give you calls. We can answer questions. We can do all those things. But at the end of the day, it's you putting in the work and that's what I'm just very happy with is watching accelerators just being willing to show up, willing to get out of their comfort zone and put in the work because that's at the end of the day what moves the needle. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And look, thoroughly, thoroughly rewarding for us as coaches as well is to, is to see that. And it's yeah, it's 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 amazing to see, and it's it completely exceeded my expectations. It is a thoroughly thoroughly solid program, but like a lot of fun, like a lot of fun. It really is. I look forward to the calls every single week, and I know everyone in my pod does. Yeah, I love it, and and you know, and that's the thing. I mean, you're having a lot of fun with it. People are having fun with it. They're building businesses. You know, what could be better? And by the way, there's no better feeling from a coach. And I don't care what you're coaching, whether it's in a in a group coaching environment like this one, uh, an online course, private coaching. There is nothing better than being able to brag about the results of your students. There is nothing better. I love doing it more than anything in the world. And, you know, we, we post them, just accelerator stories. You can see at createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash progress. You can see some progress and some stories there. And, and, there, and there's just nothing more fun to see someone, you know, that you get to go and say, hey, listen, like I at least had some part, right, in helping this person move the needle. And that's, and that's what it's all about in Accelerator Program. So, Marilyn, I want to thank you so much for this conversation here today. This was, and I, you just bring such an interesting perspective. I mean, not, not only the nuts and bolts, but just like the emotional mindset thing. And it's so funny when I got into business, I remember, cause I'm just, I'm just such a, I don't know what I am. I'm some kind of mutant is like when I got into business, you know, I was like, that stuff is, that's not, who cares? Like, I remember I was just like, I just get stuff done and I figure it out. And as I've been in business now, almost 11 years, it's funny that you realize like that is one of the, if not the most important thing, because that's something that once you get that right, you know what I mean? Everything else falls into place. And if you don't get it right, that's where other things start to crumble. So I appreciate you bringing that because I'm telling you, I've definitely shifted my perspective on that over the years. I've become, I'm just a big softy now, just a big emotional softy. Marilyn, that's what I am, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, look, it's so, it's so powerful, but yes, you're right. 
I appreciate it. All right, well, so on the way out here, Marilyn, of course, I'm going to give a couple links as we wrap up. Is there also anywhere people, obviously, they're going to see you inside the Accelerator program. Is there any other place we could send people to connect with you at all, or is uh, what's what's best? My website, Marilyn.com. That's Marilyn with an E. Which I cannot believe you got that website, which is cool. And I understand. <laughs> and we'll link that up. A and funny story. What fun fact. I know you love your fun facts. I love fun facts. I wanted, I wanted my um, solo name because my, my surname is sometimes a bit hard to spell and put the two together. And so I wanted it just to – I wanted it. But for years it was owned by an Italian cat blogger. Wow. Okay. Yes. I don't know what it had to do with my name, but eventually it became it re- was released and I snapped it up. <laughs> I love it. So that's and just so everyone knows the spelling of it, it's M E R I L Y N dot com. That's what that's the way it's spelled, which is just such impressive. I just love that website. It's like I wish listen, if I had David dot com, it'd be it'd be a good thing. Uh, God knows what David dot com is, and now I'm gonna have to go check it. Hopefully it's not anything ridiculous. And we'll we'll have to check that out. But Marilyn, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I really appreciate it. And you know, we'll have to at some point have you back. We'll talk about, you know, after we get several groups through and different things to accelerate. It'll be cool to kind of talk about and kind of recap and go back and say, hey, this is where people are at now. And this is how far we were able to move the needle. And it'll be really cool. So I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, folks, that was Marilyn Beretta here on the Rise to Top podcast, part of our accelerator program. She is one of our amazing accelerator coaches. And if you, again, Go to createawesomeonlinecourses.com slash accelerator if you're interested in 90 days of personalized coaching, accountability, and mentorship. Go over there, and you'll either see an ability to fill out your application and hop on a call, or we'll have our wait list up depending on what we have going on here throughout the year, and you'll be able to take the next step. So appreciate that. I will see you next time here on the Rise Top Podcast. This has been David Seitman Garland, and remember, if you want some fluff, you know what to do. Go pet a bunny. Hello, my name's Aviva. We're in Daddy's office. Yeah, yeah, Daddy's office. It's so much fun. Yeah, really, I'm four, and I can't wait to go to Nana's. And it's today is Paul's birthday, and I can't wait for his birthday. It's gonna be so so much fun, and I can't wait. Yeah, really fun. Yeah, really fun. Yeah, really fun, and I can't wait. Can we? Okay, I'm done talking. Bye-bye.